Well, welcome to another video, or at least I hope. Um, tonight I plan to shoot uh, the Milky Way uh, for the first time this season. Uh, we finally have clear skies and the moon will be a waning crescent, so it shouldn't be very bright. If, I don't even know if it's up in the night sky, but it won't um, cause us uh, many issues. So um, the game plan is go Peggy's Cove. I've shot uh, Peggy's Cove there with the Milky Way, and this is my favorite image so far. That was before I had this, which is a move, shoot, move um, tra star tracker. So this should allow me to get um, even nicer images in the Milky Way, allowing me to have a much longer exposure. And then I can capture more light to with um, a lower ISO to have uh, cleaner images. At least that's game plan. And then once I have Milky Way, I'm going to try to move on to uh, Rio Okapuchi. I'm butchering that, but here's the, the spelling. But uh, it's a nebula that's kind of up at the same time. I believe it's near Antares. And then I'll shoot that with my 85 millimeter prime. It's Will be my first time shooting that. They'll be using uh, deep sky tactics, so taking lots of exposures and then combining them to reduce noise. Um, and that's kind of the game plan there. But before we head out, we'll have a peek at kind of what the night sky is going to look like. Um, and I use two things for that. So Halifax, well, Halifax is where I'll be, but um, clear sky chart. Um, is what I use and this will kind of tell me how dark the night sky is going to be and also clouds So we want blue in this area. This is tonight. There's a lot of other data. This is the outlook um, But darkness and then clouds are the two areas that we kind of want to focus on so darkness is here if We had a full moon and kind of be more towards this blue type color There's radiance and stuff like that down here, but the darker is better and then um, so these are favorable conditions other than the fact that it's about 11 o'clock at night when it gets dark enough. And then I'll um, kick into Stellarium. And this is uh, an Astro program. It's free for both Mac and PC, but it basically allows you to any day anytime kind of see what the night sky is going to look like assume you have um, clear skies but so we're going to face south that's kind of where the milky way comes up and then we can uh, punch forward uh, into the future so 10:30 or 10 11 40 one o'clock so you can kind of see how the milky way is going to rise and then you can position your, your subject based off that this. With Peggy's Cove, the Milky Way works for pretty much the whole Milky Way season. It's almost the whole time it's up, it's completely, it's Peggy's Cove with a backdrop of almost nothing. So it's a really good place to do astrophotography. And then uh, Antares is where that nebula is. And then this kind of, so I'll use um, my 85 millimeter uh, prime to shoot this uh, using a deep sky tactic. So taking lots of um, shorter exposures, but still using my tracker. But if I was shooting this at 85 millimeters on my tracker, I'd get about six seconds, but I hope to do about two minutes per exposure and um, and then you put all those together using noise reduction tactics that try to draw out these um, clouds i won't get so much of the red because i'm not using a astro modified camera i'm just using a, a normal one but that's kind of the game plan for tonight so
Well, it's about um, 10.30. I'm gonna start making my way down to Peggy's Cove. It's about a 40 minute drive and it's still a little bright out now, but it should be pretty dark by the time we get there. And uh, yeah, we'll head we'll out. Well, made it to Peggy's Cove. The lighthouse is there. In the dark. A couple of people here earlier, or I think by ourselves now, but. All right, we're out at Peggy's Cove. Um, I got the camera set up, but um, we're gonna start with um, the nebula because the angle at which the lighthouse is to where the Milky Way is isn't exactly where I thought it was. Um, so we'll see if it moves a little bit more in position. Basically, it's a huge drop off and I can't get in the right position to shoot the core of the Milky Way. But So we'll shoot that and I'll kind of show you kind of what I got going on here. All right, so we, normal tripod mount. This is the move, shoot, move. And then I have my, another ball mount and my camera, the 85, and I'll go to nothing with this out there. And then uh, I pull or align it by dropping the laser in here, and the north star is up there. And that's Polaris. That's will align us so that uh, we can have long exposures. So I got a good histogram. You can kind of see the the horse head nebula. Sorry, not the horse head with nebula. The dark horse in the Milky Way. And then right over here is kind of what we're shooting. So we're going to shoot them together. Oops. And I tried uh, one minute. That was too long at 85 millimeters. I was getting a little bit of long, long gating in the stars. And then, uh, so I'm doing 30 seconds, F1.4, ISO 400. I'm gonna get this and we'll shoot a few of these. So this is a comparison between a 60 second and a 30 second frame. And on the left, uh, the 60 second frame, you can uh, see how the stars are a little elongated. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. It's much cleaner on the other side. So I'm not sure if I bumped the mount or my alignment was somewhat off. Um, it could be a combination of both, but I figured it probably should have got more than uh, 60 seconds with that. But before with it, without the mount, I could only get about six. <laughs>
So my angles really aren't working out here. So I'm on the the new uh, viewing deck that they put in. I'll probably try something uh, wide with my 24, but we've got the Milky Way. I was hoping to kind of have it kind of popping up here, but it's over here. So it's quite a bit out of frame. And then uh, I guess I'm way too early in the year, but come October, it'll kind of be up over on, on this side. So then you have all of these rocks to shoot at it that way. But this crevice here is kind of what I was showing earlier. So we'll see what um, I can do with uh, 24. I'll probably try to capture the viewing deck in, in the shot as well. But I did uh, take four panel panoramic with the 50 mil of the Milky Way before I took down my uh, tracking mount. So I might just composite something in here if this doesn't work. A two minute exposure f4 ISO 800 and obviously I blew out the, the foreground so it'll be a exposure blend on top of that so we get the look away again further away than I was hoping but I'll shoot my foreground shots now and then move on to a different composition So I just moved below the, the viewing deck, so we're kind of on the rocks that move the Milky Way quicker by moving our angles, and then time has also passed, but I'm on my second battery, so I'm firing off some shots, and I got kind of exactly what I want, uh, so I'm just going through my um, foreground shots, but it's kind of the composition I have right now. And then... When I finish, so I did vertical and uh, horizontal. So I'm going to go down to the rocks kind of down there. Down there, well away from the black rocks. And then I'm probably going to try to get a shot with the water. There'll be a numerous pitcher to get it together with the Milky Way when you have the water, but we'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit further down than I was intending to go to try to get some better water but I found a water pool although it has some algae in it so I was trying to get the reflection with the Milky Way in it. did a three shot vertical that I'll stitch together and we'll see how that turns out but I'm going to probably slide back up across the top and uh, get some more traditional views and quite a bit over now and uh, we'll fire up this image now.
This is the composition now I'm going to use. I shot this somewhat kind of down here in my first video. I'm kind of using this S leading into the, the lighthouse and then kind of above the two lights is where the Milky Way is. Um, I had to light paint down here, kind of what I'm doing now to get this foreground because it's heavy. Uh, shadow from the this edge over here and then uh, the lights were cast in the shadows so light painted that out and hopefully this one will turn out will probably be the last one for the night it's about 3 15 in the morning and still need it tomorrow hopefully some of them came out but it does look like I uh, uh, went backwards I should have started on the, the far edge of the water and kind of went across but yeah live and learn till next time thanks